Um, <clears throat> I think I figured out what one of my purposes is um, for being alive still. Um, I think it's to help the the really severe, horrific child abuse survivors, um, the ones that um, were boxed in with no escape for most of their lives. Um, and they don't see the light of day, basically, till later in their lives, you know. Um, and they have to make that transition from being that um, unwanted child orphan to the orphan that goes into the world afterwards. Um, as an orphan, so, um, and I was thinking, if it's been so hard for even God himself or Jesus himself to heal myself, if it's been this hard for them to heal me, then this is, uh, a very needed thing on the planet to help severe cases of healing when even the God or Jesus struggles to heal this kind of abuse. It's that extreme, you know what I mean? And that's saying something. Um, and I'm not making it up that it's taken a lot for God to even heal me to this point, which I don't think is very much healed at all <laughs> to where I thought a God could heal me, you know, but that's another subject. Um, yes, God has healing abilities and stuff, but you, you think he could heal you really quick, you know what I mean? If it's God, you know, you would think he could heal anything quickly. Heals a leper quickly. Heals a blind man quickly. But in my case, it's a long drawn out healing process for some reason. Um, so I think one of the reasons I'm here is to help that kid out there um, that's completely held hostage by his, his family, feels held hostage by maybe the religion he's in and he doesn't see an escape he doesn't see a way out to get out and heal live a normal life he doesn't see a way out that's who i'm trying to help those that extreme case out there uh because that extreme case out there was a past version of me so, I'm really helping myself out there in another person, if that makes sense. Um, because there, there's a lot that I would have given to have had uh, videos to look at like this while I was being held hostage at growing up. In, in a house of narcissists, you know, or psychopaths, I would, I would just to have some comfort of 
a video of someone that understood what they were going through, you know, talking to them, you know, that I just stumbled upon on YouTube, you know, I don't know, because sure, you sure the kid could find professionals on YouTube, but what I have found is they kind of get it, but they don't really get the extreme cases, um, in my opinion. Um, they don't talk like they've been through the extreme cases. You know, you can tell that they haven't been through the extreme cases. I'm talking about the most extreme cases, you know that the medical field can't really help, you know, it's out of the medical field's grasp of helping that extreme, you know, that's kind of who I'm, because I know how hard it's been going to professionals and they can't really help me that much, you know. The damage has already been done, you know. Um, there's not a lot they can do to undo it. The damage that has been done that you survived. Uh, with all the various methods you did to survive all those years. Um, there's not a lot, you know, and I, I hate to tell that scapegoated kid out there that there's not a lot that the medical field can do, you know, quickly to heal what you went through for decades, you know. Um, I just, you know, want, want that kid to know the truth that it is going to be a hard road. Um, and it is going to take some real effort, even outside of the medical field helping you, you know, it's going to take a lot of effort by yourself, actually a lot of it by yourself, um, which is rough and um, I don't know. So I think that's one of my purposes of keep it on going because I already died once for real but I chose to come back for reasons unknown I, I, I chose to come back um, I didn't I didn't think I even I admit I didn't think the healing road would be this hard when I chose to come back um, from death even I didn't think it would be this hard, but I don't know. But my life is in God's hands as far as if he wants to kill me or, you know, if he wants to take me out or not, you know, my life is in his hands. Um, so... No matter how much pain I'm in, you know, it doesn't matter. But, anyways, just if it, any of my videos help reach that uh, that severe child abuse case, you know, that no one believes, no one can see that it's going on. You know, if the kid if the kid runs away, he can't get away for very long. He can't survive. Um, if if the kid goes to authorities, he's not believed. He doesn't think he'll be believed. Like in my case, I didn't think I'd be believed um, because the parents are very good actors. Uh, that's 
I don't know, I guess maybe I'm dedicating my life to help in that kind of a case, that kind of a very severe kind of a case, you know, where, um, it was basically a hostage situation that the kid's been in, but, but even I don't, you know, even I have to admit that I don't even know if, if it can be healed or not, you know, if he, if, because if even, even God himself struggles to heal you, that's, that's saying something, you know, there's no, there's no, there's no one that can heal better than God. So if God struggles to heal you, that's saying something, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? If, if God can't even heal you, that's saying something. In my opinion, that's that's a severe situation, you know, if if God struggles to heal you or help you. Um, but but anyways, um, but yeah, I guess that's one of my reasons why I'm here. Um, or one of the reasons I want to be here still is uh, to help that, you know, the, the, the one that is ignored most of his life. And um, I don't know, feels alone most of his life. Um, doesn't Doesn't even feel like God's on his side. Doesn't even feel like God's on his side most of his life. Um, just says fuck it to the world. That that's who I want to help. You know, the the one that lost all hope, hope in God, hope in the world, hope in hope in everything. You know, just like I did. You know, and. Um, it's a terrible place to be, to be that um, person that feels like it has no hope and no one is on their side, you know, I don't know, but anyways, I'm getting tired and I'll, I'll leave it with that and I'll talk to you later.